Yo, what's going on, guys? Free to raise here, bringing you back another rainy ass commentary. So it's over 179.3 with the AN94 assault rifle. This gun reminds me of the AK47 just because it's kind of kind of rec like awkward recoil, and then the, just the power of the gun's ridiculous. Even without a silencer, this thing just cuts right through people. Uh, definitely try this gun without a silencer first, just to see how incredible it is. Uh, this and the FAL are probably my favorite assault rifles, just because they're the best or the most overpowered. Uh, definitely try to run stock on every assault rifle you have. So it's like more like a submachine gun. Without stock, you're pretty much just stuck there after you aimed on sight. You usually just get taken out by some LMG ass. Well, across the map, the perks are running the hardline, lightweight, no, hardline, scavenger toughness, dexterity. Uh, just a standard perk for always. And then I'm pretty sure I'm rocking like a 46 gun streak this game. I'll probably only show you guys the gun streak part because I think in the beginning I kind of suck, at the end I kind of suck. And the game ends two minutes early, but you can't, that's just an unsolvable problem. It's never going to be able to end, so can't really complain about that anymore. So it's a pretty sick gameplay, not even running load star so i can get the gun kills too so i think i get like 60 to 70 gun kills this game so guys which which would you rather see would you rather see these lethal gameplays or these non-lethal gameplays because i have about half and half in my uh computer i have a bunch of like 115 plus kill games with non-lethals with shotguns a few double nuclears and then i have these non-lethal gameplays which are like 170 kills somewhere with load star somewhere with not so just leave a comment on which one you rather see because it doesn't matter to me i'll post whatever i just feel like the non-lethal gameplays are just so much funner to get so much more impressive i know i got so much love on that uh, i think it was 107 and 5 nuclear i got so much love this is a pretty insane gameplay just kind of rushing around getting gun kills so let's leave a comment on which one you'd rather see just because i even like i said i feel like the non lethals are more impressive but that's pretty much it for the gameplay what i want to talk about is just pretty much a dentist rant so you guys know the dentist is every like every it's half a year or whatever i can trust i'm having such a hard time explaining that it's six months it's like you do it once and wait six months then do it again uh you always despise your mom tells you it like two weeks before and you always put it off and she's like and you like she tells you you have dentist you're like fuck i hate dentists dentists is it because I always feel like dentists, it's always like a 30 minute drive no matter how far. And you're just sitting in the car just despising it. Uh, I, I have my dentist at my old house. So when we moved, now I live like 40 minutes away from my dentist. So I have to drive all the way down there just to get my freaking teeth checked. It's such a fucking inconvenience in the first place. And then you go there, you have to, you have to like go in there, super awkward rating room. You have to check in and you have to sit there. And always, there's always some lame music. There's like an Xbox, but there's like a little kid playing like... I don't even know, like Alfred, like the fucking Hitchcock, something. I, I really messed it up, but it's just playing some random ass game. So you have to sit there for 15 minutes. And then you finally go in. You got some fat bitch that comes in, like, come on, let's go. And then she takes you into that sketchy old room. She sits you in the chair, and every, like all the equipment is always behind you. It's never in front of you, so you can see it. It's always in behind. They're always writing stuff down. They're always saying random things to their like the like the high rank de dentist. So first they check your teeth. They take that. Kind of take that scraper and just scrape all the shit off your teeth. It kind of hurts, but it's whatever. And they always poke, like, if you have, like, a cavity or something, you always fucking dig it in there. Like, can you please stop? Like, no, you have to check if there's a cavity in there. Like, jam it in there. You ask when they're just like, no, freaking Nazi freaking dentists. So then, like, after all that, you have to have that, like, super gritty stuff. I don't know what it's called, but they, like, they ask you some random flavors, like mint cherry or... I don't even know and this it always tastes like crap it's always gritty it always it's just bad even though it cleans your teeth but they never clean out like the entire thing so after you get out and you're just like you're licking your teeth and all this gritty and everything kind of tastes like ass and then uh after that like the like the bigger dentist goes in they talk about like what's wrong with your teeth the x-rays i don't think is the x-rays though they put that really uncomfortable metal thing into your mouth and it's always at some really awkward angle where it's like jamming into your gum and like only it only take a second and then they like they like mess up the x-ray or you move because you're in so much pain because the metal thing's jabbing into your freaking gum so you're not gonna have, have to have gum surgery like the next week go in there so uh, that's just another <laughs> ridiculous thing and then when the dentist are talking about what cavities you have they're like he's got a flaming uh, unicorn crown on the qdb q9 like it, they don't even speak regular english to you uh, they're always talking about some random thing. I know they. T I think I had two cavities, uh, just because I think I chipped a tooth from skateboarding or something. Like he's got a DQB eight nine four hundred thirty six Q. I'm like, well, that, that makes perfect sense to me. Let me just write that down in my journal so I make sure I know what I have to go through when they freaking. And then 
that's pretty much it for that. And then they, then the next week or so, you have to, you despise, like, God damn, I'm driving another 40 minute drive back to the dentist. So then you go there, they give you that shot, and it's kind of uncomfortable, but it's whatever. Just, it's so much better than having to do it raw. I've done it without a shot, and like, they drilled in my teeth, and then, I, cause it, cause it was, it was like a pretty deep cavity, and I didn't have any Novocaine, so it like, freaking, it like busted all my nerves. I was like, ah, please stop. So now I just have that Novocaine all the time, but then they stick, there's like five dentists, they'll go into the room, they'll jam everything they can possibly fit in your mouth until you have like no room they'll put like 50 cotton swabs they'll put like a giant like 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 jaw wrench or it opens your jaw so they can do that and then they try to talk to you as if you can talk with like 50 people's hands in your mouth it's just like what do you expect me to know with, to talk to you guys when you have all this shit jam in my mouth and then after that the nova like you're done with the, the you're done with the surgery you get out and you feel like you have a fat lip for like three like three hours i don't know why you always end up like biting your lip and you have no you have no feeling or anything so you end up fucking your gum up too so this is a rant rant on the dentist if you like dentists I, I don't know, you're probably just really weird. You're also probably a person that likes that, like, like, you know that doctor paper you like touch on, it's always like the, like the most crumply paper ever. I hate that shit too. Just doctor in generals are bad. It's just, they're, they're always just, they're never really good. <laughs> Cause usually checkups or you have to, you have something fucked up with you. So it's, just, it's usually never a good thing when you have to go into surgery or dentist or anything. Just leave a comment on what you guys feel dentist is like. Uh, it's pretty, I really don't like it. I've never liked it at all just because it's always such an inconvenience. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for the dentist rant. Guys, remember to follow me on Twitter. I'm always. I just changed it from I'm the real always to always. And, by the way, guys, can you do this for me really quick? Uh, uh, search at I, I like, search, uh, why the fuck I fucked it up? Search at always, and it's like Miss Thailand, reporter for some random shit. Try to get her account taken down so I can have the always Twitter name because I really want that because on the real ways or I'm space away is kind of blow. So definitely do that. And like, can you guys please do another favor for me? Is, is subscribe to uh, Beat by Dre. Uh, he's in my description all the time. Please subscribe to him. He's if you guys have ever seen my thumbnails, any of the amp thumbnails, he's probably the person that's made it. Cause definitely subscribe to him. Try to get him to at least like maybe a hundred subscribers if you watch this. Please, please, please go subscribe to this video. Like this video and then please go subscribe to him because he's pretty good at Call of Duty. He makes insane thumbnails. He's a cool guy, so definitely do that. And just leave a like or comment. Send me money, everything. Peace out guys.